and welcome. In today's video, I filmed a full face using all high-end makeup as per your votes. You guys voted that I'd record all high-end and an all drugstore video, so that video will be coming up after this one. But in today's video, we did a nice dewy and glowy look with a nice glitter eye. I used the Hourglass Glitter Eyeshadow that I mentioned in my March Favorites. I used some of the products that I mentioned in that video so you guys can see it in action. And I also tested out a brand new foundation. This is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation in the shade number four. So um, I really like the way that this video came out. I like the way all the products lay on my skin. This could be used for a nice date night, if you're going out to the club, just going out, if you just want to slay on an everyday basis, this is for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do, and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this video. As you can tell by the intro, we are doing a full face of high-end makeup. I actually did a poll on YouTube and I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see, whether it was full face high end or full face drugstore. And I'm just gonna quickly check. Last time I checked, um, high end was pretty much the top vote, but also you guys voted that I do both. Um, Cause I had high end drugstore and both. So let me see. Okay, so I'm just looking at the poll now, and 62% voted for both. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. In this video, we are obviously doing high-end makeup. I'm going to go ahead and start by moisturizing my lips first. I've already moisturized my skin and used my eye cream. I use the Origins Brighten and Deep Puff eye cream. And then I use the Tatcha. The dewy skin cream, I have it right here. The dewy skin cream during the day. Um, you guys would have seen already if I put, I think I posted the video by now. My March favorites that I've been loving, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I hope the camera's showing you guys, but my skin just looks super dewy and luminous and just healthy. It's not heavy, or it's a little bit tacky which I don't mind because that helps the other products I'm gonna apply to my face adhere better. So we're just gonna jump into it for primers today. I'm gonna be using my trusty Guerlain Laura Primer and the Tatcha Silk. Oh, no, 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 that's a lie. I did wanna try a new primer for you guys. Um, I don't know if you would consider Milk Makeup to be high-end. Their price point is pretty good. I got this trial size of the Hydro Grip Primer for $15, and I think the full size was maybe 20 or so dollars. So I feel like their price range is definitely a lot more affordable than most high-end um, brands at Sephora or you know wherever you pick up your high-end makeup. But I did want to include it in today's video so you guys can see. But really quick, I did want to discuss um, a product that I have been using as a primer, and I just want to let you guys in on the tea because, ooh, honey, I, my skin had a reaction to this product, and after reading reviews on Sephora, um, I know I'm not alone. A lot of people experience the same reaction as I did, and I think it's because of the ingredients in this product. So the product that I've been trying out is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's the liquid highlighter, and I have the shade Opal. Now the reason why I picked this up is because I saw Mr. Daniel Makeup on YouTube. He's actually a an Italian beauty guru and makeup artist, and he's been doing so well for himself. And I don't know if you guys know, but I am of the Italian descent. So I love watching his videos because it's a way for me to learn Italian. And he's just really good at makeup and I love the way he talks. So anyways, um, I saw a video and he mentioned that this is one of his 2018 beauty favorites. So I'm like, uh, gotta get that. And I went and got it. I've been testing it out since last Saturday and my skin has just broken out. The camera's not picking it up and my 
Skin definitely looks a lot better today, but I've got cystic, cystic acne. So, you know, my skin has pretty much been under control for the, these past few months. And then I tried this product and bam, my skin had a moment and you better believe I'm returning it. This is why I always keep the packaging to products when I test them out because if it doesn't work for me, there's no point in it sitting in my drawer. So yeah, um, I should have been smarter and looked at Sephora reviews before purchasing this product. So that's my suggestion um, if you guys have similar skin type as I do or if you're skin sensitive or you just don't want to put products that have um, mineral oil on your face which I mean I don't know the true story to it but I've heard it's not good for your skin so um, if you want to avoid breaking out then don't try this out and I'm not here to bash the company or bash the product it just didn't work out for me and if I could help you guys out and save you guys from a huge breakout then my duty here has been done now let's actually get into this makeup so my moisturizer has been sitting for about 10 minutes and now it's time to jump into the primer i decided i'm not going to use these because i don't like the way it looks so just hope my uh makeup doesn't get in my hair okay so we're going in with the milk makeup hydro grip primer i just want to get on sephora and just read a little bit about this because i know like grip primers are the new thing in town this product is a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for all day hydration and hold so i have tried this out a few times and hands are clean so let's go ahead and apply this primer i'm using one pump work that into my hand and just apply this to the face one thing I will say about this primer is that it stinks it smells really really bad I'm just doing another pump it's I don't know if you guys can hear but uh, the tape is getting a little loose back there making me nervous but I don't even know how to describe the scent it just smells weird and strange but hey if the product works I'm willing to look over the fact that it stinks really bad feels good feels really light on the skin doesn't feel like I'm putting anything too heavy or fragrance onto my skin which is what I like now for my T-zone area, I'm actually going to apply the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I think I have a little hair here. Um, ever since I picked this up, I've just been making it a point to use this because it really does help um, blur your pores. And it just makes for a really nice canvas to apply the rest of your makeup on. It's very smoothing and it doesn't oh come yeah, on it just really creates a nice base for your makeup smooth doesn't clog my pores out I think it just makes the makeup I apply on top of it look really good I'm just gonna apply some where I have some active breakouts just to smooth the skin out that way doesn't look too harsh when I apply the foundation on top. So yeah, it just really creates a nice base for your makeup. Smooth, doesn't clog my pores out. I think it just makes the makeup I apply on top of it look really good. And I'm just going to apply some where I have some active breakouts just to smooth the skin out that way it doesn't look too harsh when I apply the foundation on top now for the foundation portion I'm actually going to be a little bit risky let me just get my brushes 
I'm gonna be a little bit ballsy and risky and actually try out a new foundation. So the foundation I'm gonna try out is from the brand Fiona Styles. It is their matte foundation concentrate. So I've seen Carly Bible talk about this product for I would say years now and I just never picked it up. They used to sell this brand at Ulta, but it's no longer available at Ulta. But um, she did mention that she picked this up on walmart.com and it was like $30. So being that it was sold at Ulta, and I remember it used to be by the higher end section, I consider this high end makeup. This is not cheap. $30 is not um, a drugstore price point. Even though I picked this up on walmart.com, I know Walmart um, sells like third party makeup or products. So anyways, that is my justification for including it in this video and including it as a high-end primer. So the shade foundation and the shade I have is 04. When you go online, you can't um, test out the shade, but I think this might work. It's a little bit darker than my hand. Um, my hands are pretty pale because every time I apply my Jergens um, lotion, for some reason, on my hands, it just disappears, I guess, from washing hands, putting lotion on top of it. It breaks down the color. But anyways, I wanted to test it out for you guys and then include it in this video. I just have an itch on this eyebrow. So, I'm going to use my Ulta, I mean, my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. And this is, like I said, a matte foundation. And this is actually looking like a very good color matte. All right. Seriously? I'm sick of this. So, looks like a really good color match. Oh my god, do you see that? My Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealers. I have the shades Vanilla and Nude, so I'm just going to mix those two. And I'm going to apply them under the eye. I love these two because they don't like dry your skin out, but they're also pretty full coverage. And I don't know about you guys, but I love full coverage. So I feel like this is a common debate um, for people who wear makeup. Now, are you guys the type that do your face first and then your eyes? Or do you do your eyes and then your face? I typically, and on most days, typically on most days will do the face first and then the eyes. I just feel like by having a really good base, that like I'm, I can be more creative and envision an eye look better than if I just had no face makeup and then just started it on my eyes. I don't know. Which one are you guys? Comment down below. Now, we are going to apply some cream bronzer so we can snatch this face. It works on the forehead to blend it in, so just blend that in. Don't forget about the hairline because you want it to look cohesive. You don't want to look like your bronzer just stops like right before your hairline. That's going to look a little bit funny. All right, this hair is bothering me, so I'm going to just clip it back real quick. Okay. All right, so now it's actually doing pretty good at blending the bronzer in. 
to the jawline around the ear. Don't want to forget about the ear. That's a clear giveaway. Done to done. Just a little bit. So as you can tell, we're looking more healthy, which we love. We love healthy looking skin. I'm not a big nose contourer. I really wish I knew how, but I just don't. I know one of you guys actually suggested I watch Wayne Gus um, because he is a master at makeup. So I need to, you know, take your advice and start watching him because I kind of do want to learn how to contour my nose. Not that I really have a problem with the shape of my nose. It's whatever, like, it's what I got. And I'm not changing what it looks like, so I'm gonna work with what we got. Um, now let's do our brows because I feel like I need to add shape back into the face before moving on to any other steps. Uh, I'm gonna actually use mirror from this Marc Jacobs bronzer. Ugh. Hey, when I'm doing my my makeup and like you just feel like a little hair and you can't see it, but it just tickles my standard Benefit Brow Precisely My Brow Pencil. And the shade I use is 3.5. So brows are done. Now we're going to set the T-zone area because I want the rest of my face to look glowy. I'm going to go in with this Givenchy Prisme Libre Powder. Just a nice, very, very finely milled powder. And it's more on the matte side so it keeps your skin intact for a long period of time. Get rid of those oils, get rid of that glow. Well, we'll add glow back into the skin, but I'm not trying to look super oily or greasy throughout the day. So this step is definitely essential in my routine. After this step, what I always do is apply a setting spray, so I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus. Do you guys consider MAC high end? I don't know. But I just feel by doing this, it helps everything like melt together and then preps you for your next steps. So now that it feels like the setting spray has kind of become one with the rest of my makeup, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow. So I have two palettes here that are high end. They are the Natasha Denona Camo Palette and the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Look at this palette, you can tell. I really enjoyed it. Um, first off, the shade Soul Tree just broke on me. Um, I'm starting to hit pan on burnt orange. Like my favorite two shades are burnt orange and orange soda. They just like are a great transition shade, so they're really good for an everyday makeup look. So I really, really love this in 2018, and it's still going strong in 2019. And then for the Natasha, Natasha Denona palette, I really like this shade. I think it's called Dune. I think this yeah called Copperstone. So I took we go for this shade, but I want to show you guys in action how the Hourglass um, Scattered Light Glitter Shadow looks. So I'm going to skip out on that, but I may be using the shade Zand as a transition. So we'll see as we go. I like I mentioned, I think I mentioned this before, but I don't really plan my makeup looks. I just kind of go with the blue. 
So what I'm going to do is actually mix those two shades in the Anastasia Soft Blend Palette. They are Orange Soda and Burnt Orange. And I'm using the Morphe M441 brush. It's a nice fluffy brush. It's not too dense, so it's not going to deposit too much product. And that's why I like it. And I'm just going to do a quick little sweeping. And I'm going to use this as like an overall transition shade. And then I'll work the other shades in so you guys can see. So I just created a nice base for the rest of the shadows that I'm going to apply on top. So the thing I'm going to do is go in with a more precise blending brush. This is the Sigma Blending E25 brush. And I'm going to dip into this shade here. This is called Zand. And I'm just going to put this. A little bit goes a long way because Natasha and Anona shadows are super pigmented and super, super bam in your face. So I'm going to focus this on the crease and just gently blend back and forth, circular motions. And then just bring a little bit on the lash line. It's like a creature of habit, as you can tell. I like the kind of same eyeshadow looks. Very warm tones, very just playing it safe. But I just feel like that's what works with my skin tone, that's what works with my eye color, and makes my eye color look best. I don't know. A little bit more here. And guys, I really don't try to be super perfect or precise when I'm doing my eyeshadow. Just because when you put lashes on top, it kind of masks some of your shadow. So don't be too hard on yourself if you make a mistake. Like, just, it happens. I'm not a professional makeup artist by any means. I just love makeup and I decided to pursue my passion for it and hey, here we are. I love what I do. I love doing YouTube. This is what makes my heart happy. Mm. So now I'm going to go in with this dark shade here. This is the shade Oroso and then I'm going to use this e.l.f. Oh my god, this is so dingy. e.l.f. Professional Defining Eye Brush. It's just a small angled brush. So what I'm going to do with this shade, I'm going to just tap into it and then tap the excess off. What I'm going to do is apply this on the outer corner of my eye and apply it right on my lash line, kind of serving as the purpose, kind of serving as an eyeliner. And this is going to require some focus. I'm trying to blend it upwards. Let's get a little bit closer. And I'm just flipping the brush over. Kind of like flicking it upwards. Like I said, we're not trying to be perfect. I do this on an everyday basis and I just Wing it. Trust me guys, it's all gonna work out. Just me. Work in small steps. All you're basically doing is just dragging the color inwards and creating like a bit of a winged look. So now, this is the point where I'm like, girl, you need a little bit of help. So I will go now, and now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M330 brush. This is more on the tapered side. And then I'm just gonna, I'm not putting any product, and I'm just blending that in. Just blending, blending, blending. For the brow bone, I'm going to apply the shade Tempura. 
it's just this light cream shade in the soft glam palette i'm gonna apply that under the eyebrow just to brighten that eye up Now for the start of the show, we're going to go in with our Hourglass Glitter Shadow in the shade Reflect. <laughs> Guys, this shadow is just amazing. It's captured my heart. I'm going to use the a flat shader brush. This is the Morphe M124 brush. And all I'm going to do is go in, use that brush, and sweep that shade on the inner corner. Ooh, honey. Just feel like it's so easy to blend. Oh my God, this is so fucking beautiful. And I'm bringing that on the whole lid. I'm not being shy with the shade. So beautiful. Do the under eyes. What I'm going to do first, we're going to be a little dramatic today. I'm going to use Marc Jacobs, what is this called? Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. This is in the shade black. I'm just going to sparingly apply this on my waterline. do is go in with use the same elf blending brush go back into that Natasha Denona camel palette and dip into the shade Zand and just blend the shadow with the liner I'm gonna go in with a smaller Blending brush. Is this even considered a blending brush? I don't know. This is a Natasha, the Sonia Kashuk number 105 brush. I'm going to dip into the shade Cypress Umber from the Anastasia palette and focus that darker shade on the outer corner. And then bring it in. Connect. Oh, honey. See, this is real life. Now I'm gonna be a little extra. I wanna apply the hourglass shadow. Where is it? Just a little bit on the inner corner. I'm using this really, really, really tiny Real Techniques brush. This is called the Precision Smudge Brush. Like, look how small the tip of that is. So I'm going to dip into the shadow and just apply a little bit on the inner corner. Okay. Get a little far, that's okay. You can always come out. Okay. So we are done for the eyes. Now I'm going to prep for lashes. I'm just gonna speed right through this. Lashes are on. I gotta say, I really do like the way they look on the eyes. They're super lightweight, feathery. I like the texture of them. They look like super silky, if that makes sense. I will say they're much better than the other pair that I tried. And I think those were in the style of Goddess. So I am a fan, even though they were a little tricky to work with at first. Now what I'm gonna do is just apply liner right here in this little inner corner kind of just to make the lashes look like they connect i don't know if that makes sense just right there in that little inner corner and then just applying the liner right on the lash line it kind of helps tie the look together as you can see there's like a bald spot here almost and by applying the liner, my lash is kind of lifting here. Okay. I 
and I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper Black. This is like my OG, my holy grail liquid liner. It just works so good and I haven't found anything that works as good as that. Go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is actually like a, a little duo. I mentioned it in one of my videos. I'm going to use the shade Shadow Play, which is this contour shade. And then I'm going to go in with my Sigma Angled, Large Angled Contour Brush. It's the F40. So I'm just going to apply some product, dust it off a little bit. And then just chisel these cheek bones out. Basically just going on top of where I applied the Chanel bronzer, applying it in circular motions. Just doing a little bit down the nose. On the jawline. Actually go in with this Burberry Earthy Blush number seven. I've never used this on camera for you guys, so why not do that today? It's just a really neutral shade, and I'm using this Sonia Kashuk number 113 brush. It's like a very it's not too dense this brush so it doesn't deposit a lot of product which I like especially when you're applying blush sometimes you know we can get a little bit heavy-handed like right now even with this brush heavy-handed now I'm going to spray my face using one of the most magical setting mists on the market and this is the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist if you guys use a bit of um if you guys just want to glow or if you feel like your makeup is looking a little bit blah or dry or just you need to put life back into your face, try this out. Alright. I applied more than normal just because I did use a matte foundation so I definitely want my oils to shine through throughout the day and I just want the makeup to look very luminous and glowy and I also do this step so <clears throat> I can um, prep for my highlighter that way it's like bam in your face and for highlighter I don't know if I've ever used this on camera but it is the Anastasia and Amrezi highlight this is what she looks like this is just gold goddess dreams right here this is gonna help you glow to the gods, that's what we all want, right? And I'm using my trusty Anastasia A23 brush. This brush is so perfect. Oh my God, I literally used it so much that the writing is gone, but I'm pretty sure this is the A23 brush. But this brush just, I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes every, it just makes the highlight apply so nicely. Like, look at that. Look at that, honey. I'm sure somebody from outer space is gonna sing me today. I'm gonna go down the bridge of the nose. You guys know I'm all about that trend highlight, so we're not skipping out today. A little bit on the keep it though. Above the brows. This is super dewy makeup, so if that's what you're into, I'm sorry. But this is just what make this is just what makes this is just what makes my heart happy. I mean, this is bronze gold right here. So I may be a little bit early. The summer's not quite here. Spring, although it's spring, it, it's not really spring. So I'm a little bit early, but I like to glow. And my lips with the Makeup Forever Wear Upper Walnut Liner. But first, I need to just sharpen that up so we can get a pre precise application.
lips are lined. Now, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Ludwig. Oh my god, that's actually. I'm gonna go in with the shade. How do I use this? With the Cap on D liquid lip in the shade Ludwig. I feel like it's just a lighter, lighter version. Is it lighter? Or maybe more pinky than the bow and arrow. Yeah. Okay. So we have our lip liquid lip on and then I'm gonna tap it with the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. I'm almost out of this guy. This is definitely a more pinky shade, so I think it'll mix well with that. Boom! Alright, and we're done. We are done, guys. Let me just fix my hair. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. We are looking very bronzy and dewy, which is definitely the kind of looks that I typically go for. I like looking healthy. Like I just got some sun, even though I haven't gotten any sun. I just like for my skin to just, ooh, even the hair is looking dewy and glowy, but not oily. I don't know. So I really like the way this look came out. I'm really very, very impressed with the foundation. I just feel like everything is laying nicely on top of it. So I'm glad I tried that Fiona Styles foundation out in this video. I can see why Carly Bible raves about it. It's amazing. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed seeing me use all high-end products. Stay tuned because I'm going to be recording an all drugstore tutorial. Uh, you know, we're not skimping out here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos. And don't so that's all for today. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.